Howdy. Welcome back. If this is your first time here, my name is Calvin Ellis, and uh, I'm an author, amongst other things. Today, we are going to do the AuthorTube newbie tag version two. Um, both versions, I believe, were created by Jenna Streety. Um, I will link her uh, thing down below. Thank you to anyone who watched last week's AuthorTube newbie tag version one uh, video. Appreciate the kind comments and some of the enthusiasm. I mean, I appreciate all of the enthusiasm. It's not like there's some enthusiasm. I was like, Pfft. today we're going to be doing version two. So let's just jump right in. So first question is, what is your book's pitch? And if you have multiple, pick your favorite. This is one of those things we're supposed to, as authors, we're supposed to have like uh, at the drop of the hat, but I just don't. Um, I had the hardest time writing my blurb. I think it was easier to write the book than it was to write the blurb. And they always say that you should uh, write the blurb first um, because then you know what the book's supposed to be about. And I didn't do that. I'm terrible with that. If I had to just come up with a blurb on the spot, uh, I would say paranormal investigator recruited by a mysterious clergyman to solve decades old, no, generations old mystery haunting small Appalachian town. Yeah, I think I said that wrong. But yeah, that's, that's my pitch. <laughs> if you were a book, how would you pitch yourself? Um, I have not read these questions yet, by the way. So I figured it would be better if I just answered them on the fly, which is why I didn't have a, a pitch ready. If you were a book, how would you pitch yourself? <laughs> um, how would I pitch myself? Uh, tragedy meets comedy meets self-help book. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go with that. If I was a book. Next question. What do you usually write? I normally write horror and uh, mystery and suspense. Next question. What is something you will never write? I don't know. Some sort of journalism hit piece or something? Who knows? Who knows? Doubt. Comment down below on what you think I wouldn't write and I'll tell you yes or no. Next question. What's your goal for starting an author tube channel? Uh, just to make some really cool friends and get a little more involved in the author community. Adding my voice to a conversation and meeting some really cool people. Um, and hopefully helping some people out uh, on their journey. So um, if you have questions about the writing process, happy to help answer them. They're not gonna be the same answers everybody else has. Uh, that'd be boring, right? Um, they'll just be interesting um, answers from my point of view. That's what I hope to get out of the AuthorTube community. Uh, or uh, this AuthorTube channel. A uh, sense of community and helping people. What made you start writing? I just love storytelling. I always have. Somebody posted on Instagram and said, what was your favorite toy growing up? And I put G.I. Joe's. Now that just seems like a typical, oh, that kid likes to play with G.I. Joe's, but I didn't play with G.I. Joe's the same way everybody else did. I wrote storylines for each G.I. Joe. Um, probably drove my best friend crazy because he'd just be like, let's blow stuff up. And I were like, no, wait, what's the motivation? Like, why does this guy want to blow this up? And this good guy, like, what's he going to do? And I would create these dramatic situations and this tension between the G.I. Joes so that they had motivation for everything that they were doing and then I would, uh, you know, instead of just playing, I would get down like on level and like create my little camera angles and do this obnoxious little thing and um, make little movies with my G.I. Joes in my head um, and create story tells their story for them. So yeah, I, there has never been a time in my life where I do not remember wanting to create and be a storyteller. What's your publishing path? That's the next question. Self-published, uh, indie published. Um, that's where I'm at right now. I don't know what'll happen down the road. Um, I'm not currently querying or um, talking to any agents or anything. So I'm just enjoying, really enjoying doing it by myself uh, and trying to get better at the back end stuff. So next question: What content do you bring to the author tube table? I mean. We're all gonna kind of say same versions of the same thing. And um, I've watched a lot of author tube videos lately. 
and it's a lot of um, people talking about the same subjects, but all of our opinions are just a little bit different. Yes, some of them are going to all uh, be the same, like because if there's a right way to do something and people discover the right way, they're just going to talk about the right way. Um, but I'm going to bring um, a little bit of maturity, mentorship, and leadership to AuthorTube. Not that they need it. There are some amazing people that are mentors and leaders out there. But that's what I've got to give. That's kind of what I have in abundance here um, in my day-to-day -day life. I'm a, I'm a mentor and I'm a, a leader in my small group and in my community. And um, my day job for a long time has been um, uh, leadership development. So I'm really good at motivating and teaching people how to uh, kind of go after what they want. So. Um, yeah, I know there's a lot of that already in the AuthorTube community, and uh, I uh, cherish those people and admire them. And I just want to add to that. I'm also, I think, a little older than a lot of them, so I have a lot more life experience than a lot of uh, um, folks on AuthorTube. Not that that's a, a positive or a negative, it's just a different perspective. So I'm not saying if you're young, you're... Um, your opinions are invalid. That's not the case at all, actually. Uh, if you're younger, then you've got a whole different perspective on uh, the world right now. And you're honestly probably closer in age to people that are watching a lot of these videos, so you're going to be able to connect a lot better uh, than I could. But I'm coming from a position of, uh, I'm a father of three, I know we haven't talked much about that on, uh, on this year, but, uh, yeah, so I've got kind of a, a dad vibe, as my uh, my daughter says. So, yeah, I hope to bring a little bit of that. Next question. What's your biggest writing struggle? Well, like most authors, I think my biggest uh, struggle is just getting the work done. That's it. Ideas are easy. Um, the story is easy. It's having the, um, having the dedication to just sit down and put in the work. Next question. What is your best writing skill? I think that's that's a weird question to answer for myself. Like, I think I'd have to ask people that liked my book. Probably my understanding of um, emotion. Yeah. All right, so the next question is actually one of two questions. So if you've been on AuthorTube for a while, you answer one way. Uh, I, and then if you're new, you answer another way. So um, the newbie version of it is if you're new to AuthorTube, um, what is your biggest author tube question? My biggest author tube question is probably how do you stay original with all these people talking about the same thing? How do you make sure that you're not insulting people who have already covered that content? So um, I want to talk about tropes for writers and various different things. I want to talk about, um, you know, good habits and bad habits, but th it's all been done. Uh, and I understand my opinion is different than some others um, and all of our opinions are different but I just don't want it to seem like I'm saying here's my opinion this is the right way so what's the best way to avoid that pitfall is a question I would I would ask so if you're uh, on AuthorTube or BookTube or just a YouTuber in general uh, leave a comment let me know uh, because I'd, I'd love to get your advice on that even if you're not let me know uh, if you're just a, a watcher of videos and you have some advice on it. Let me know. I could use the help. So the next question is a long one. So I'm going to read it and my cheat sheet is down here. So um, are you looking for any new channels to follow, betas, CPs, or other types of writing buddies? If so, tell us who you're looking for and connect with them in the comments. Uh, not right now. I'm not. Um, I will be. I have a pretty good group of beta readers for my next book, which I'm working on now. I am looking for channels to follow. I followed a ton of them and have just been really enjoying diving into um, both AuthorTube and BookTube worlds. Question 14. What are you most excited about with your fresh new start on AuthorTube? Meeting people and talking about writing and talking about books in general. So yeah, start a conversation in the comments or something. Like, uh, let's get this party started. I should not say stuff like that.
Anyway, that was AuthorTube newbie tag version two. Thanks for thanks for checking it out again. If you haven't seen last week, check it out. Um, AuthorTube version or newbie tag version one last week. And let me know, you know what you'd like me to talk about. If you've got questions about writing, the writing process, publishing, publishing process, um, the marketing process, I'm not super good at it. I understand it decently, but I just, um, I get my own way on that too. And try to, I have a tendency to cut corners a little bit when I'm trying to rush through something I don't enjoy. So I trip myself up sometimes. Do me a favor and hit the, the old thumbs up and everybody says to hit the bell I, I'm assuming that helps but if you want to be reminded every time I upload a video I'm gonna to try to upload every Wednesday thanks have a good week see ya